it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I have actually have several Nightmare Before Christmas items uh, that I'm going to show you. Most of which came from Hot Topic, but I do have some um, that are Hallmark branded, and so I'll show those too. But first, I'm going to start is with this Walgreens. This is a plush zero tree topper, and I picked this up from Walgreens. And you can see he's I got him on top of my tree here, and then down here I also have a tree skirt. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is I, I bought another tree skirt, this Nightmare Before Christmas, um, that's still available on Hot Topic as of November 2020. So this one is not anymore available on there, but I did purchase this from Hot Topic last year. And you can see it's pretty much just a black and gray, um, tree skirt with the snake is pretty much the only thing with color on here. And here's my plush snake there, but, um, so we'll take a look at this. I got a little present there but uh got Sally and Zero Sally here at her uh, table desk thing and the mayor in his car some jack faces oogie boogie zero all different characters on here lock shock and barrel um so yeah like I said it's pretty much just black uh not black and white but like a black and gray no color to the characters just pretty much a black um artsy art style to them and then they have just the snake is is the pop of color that you get off of this one so it's really nice i do like that um gives the snake you know more contrast so i'm gonna put these i have a little bag here put under there so anyway there's that and so the new one i'm going to show you is right here let me get that out of the bag. So this one, yeah, I just picked this up from Hot Topic. You can still get it. Um. <clears throat> I would say it'll probably still be available by uh, till the end of the year. Uh, and then probably not very long after that. So if you're interested in this, I wouldn't wait too super long. But anyway, but anyway, a lot of this I did purchase with uh, Hot Cash. Um, and I always play my cards right with the Hot Cash. It's like $15 off of $30 is what they typically do. And I had like several of those. So I try to spend to where I actually get about half off. Because 15 off 30 is half. Um, so pretty much I got most of this stuff about 50% of off of its original price. So anyway, here's the... Uh, tree skirt here now this one as you can see has a lot more color it's uh designed like the roulette wheel like a roulette wheel and we have jack santa jack here and here's sally so let's see i'm going to go ahead and open this and put it around a tree and then show that to you all right i got to set around my tree my other tree here and so here you can see it laid out Got Santa Jack, Sally, looks like a cat in the box, Zero, you got the scary teddy back there. So yeah, a lot more color to this one. Green and uh, red looks like, and then black. So Christmas colors, Boogie Boogie, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And the colors are, and the characters are colored as well. Now the Jack in the box and the cat in the box are a black and white, but are a black. Um, but their background color is the other color. And there's the mare back there. So there's that. Um, I'm going to say out of the two skirts, I think I, I like... Um, put those back in there. The, uh, the snake one the best. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my table and show you the other items I picked up. Alright, um, the skirt was, if you want to know price, was um, $39.90. Uh, with Hot Topic, especially if you go online, they are always having like 30% off flash sales and things like that. So I never pay full price. I have Hot Cash, so I got it for around like $20 plus tax. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely wait until they have some kind of a flash sale. and uh, Or if you are um, get a coupon in your emails or something like that and then get it discounted, you can get it cheaper. 
The next item I'm going to show you is, um, I got this also from Hot Topic with uh, my hot cash. And that's this uh, Merry Scary Holidays. And this has this snake again on it. And Santa Jack there in the middle. And this is a, kind of like a wood MDF-y type material. Actually, this feels like wood. I can't tell if it's wood or... It says MDF. Okay, so it's MDF. It's a really nice, dense MDF. I'll give them that. Um, yeah, it's pretty much you just hang it on your wall. Like so. So I think it's pretty nice. Uh, I like the snake a lot. I think the snake's pretty cool. I always like things with the snake on it. So pretty cool. And the other piece of wall art I picked up, I thought this was really, really nice. It looks like a um, stained glass. It's not stained glass, but it would be really cool if it was though. Um, it looks like stained glass. Um, let me get the wrapper off of it. Oh, the wreath was, it's got the price on it. Yeah, was $20. I paid about, so I paid about 10 for it. And then let me open this up. This item, this stained glass looking piece of wall art I'm opening up right now was 15. $15. So it was actually cheaper than the other one. I, I don't know why it, it looks just, looks nicer I think, but well, let's get this off take these off now this is not super big um, I have to get a screwdriver to get the uh, nails out or the staples out So it's pretty much these different shades of purple with a nice bright yellow moon back there. Um, so simply meant to be on it. I think it's really nice. I, I actually really like this one, this uh, piece of wall art. I do like it. Oh, it's got like shock and barrel on it. Can not hardly see them, but there they are. So pretty, pretty nice. So this was $15, so I would have paid around like $8 for it. I would say it's very well worth that, so. All right, and so the next item I'm gonna start or do is these, um, I'm gonna do the ornaments. These I picked up from Walmart, Walmart. Um, and I did pick these up recently, uh, so your Walmart, as of November 2020, might still have these. Um, I definitely wouldn't wait too long, because one of my Walmarts, my sister picked this one up for me, was actually out of this one. They had it, and then I saw a place for it, but then they didn't have any in stock, so. Um, definitely wouldn't wait too long for any of these, as they don't really carry a large quantity of them, these premium ornaments. So here's this bobblehead one. You can see his head wobbles. And this is Santa Jack in his sleigh. So here he has his reins here in this green coffin. And his head wobbles. So pretty cool. It's interesting on his coffin, like sometimes it, they make it green and I've seen that where they've made it like or a brown color, which I think is more accurate to the movie, uh, is a brownish color. It may have some like green in it, but it's, it's strange that they, yeah, I've seen it be solid brown and I've seen it be solid green. So I, I don't know. 
why they've chosen um, these color changes for, but there's that. Yeah, he does pretty much stand on it. Oh, well, he doesn't like to stand too well on his own. He's pretty top heavy because as you can see, his head's pretty big. So, set him over there. Okay, this one is a light up one. You see, well, that's cool. It blinks too. Kind of like slowly starts up and then, huh? I'm trying to be gentle. With Now this one is a Walmart exclusive. It says Walmart exclusive on it. So this is only a Walmart. So it's pretty much Jack here sitting on Tombstone. We'll try that light again. That's pretty cool. Lights up. Pretty neat. Got the hill in the back. And I like that they included the ghosts on this one. I like the, I mean, the Nightmare Christmas ghosts have like a very a specific style to them. So it's neat to see them when they actually do do them on these collectibles. You don't really see much of them. And here is the Jack Premium Head Ornament. Now the previous year or a year or two ago, I don't remember how long it came out ago, if it was last year or the year before. But they did a, um, a solid gold jet metal head. And uh, this one has, this one's silver and red. And it's metal. Oh, there we go. It's very nice. Got his mouth open. I do think I, I do like this one better than the solid gold one. I do like the, the two different colors there. Alright. And now I have some of the Hot Topic items. Let's put these. I bought these there we go lock shock and barrel jewelry trays these are jewelry trays and it seems like hot topic's been coming out with a set of jewelry trays like every year now um like i got a zero one a noogie boogie one a lock shock and barrel one and a couple like flat trays like this that are lock shock and barrel so they've been doing quite a bit of these got little trays in between on the packaging. It's kind of cool. Okay. So these do sound like they are ceramic. So we have shocks mask here. Yeah, you can't hang them. Be kind of cool if you could hang them on the wall. I mean, they are trays for jewelry, so um, supposed to be, but they look like they look cool on your wall. So we got shock, lock, and barrel. So pretty much just simple little black trays with their masks on, on the inside. Now the mask, I believe, is resin. Um, it's not molded on there. It looks to be glued on there. So I do believe this is a separate piece that has been glued to a uh, black tray. So there are those. And then here I picked up some um, pins. I usually don't buy very many pins because uh, pins are just, they have so many of them. You could just collect just Nightmare Before Christmas pins and have a pretty large collection just doing that. Um, 
So I really don't collect very many pins. They're kind of pricey for what you get. Like this pin right here was 10 bucks originally. So I paid probably around five to $6. And it's like, that's all you get. It's this little bitty thing. Uh, this is actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more like the size of the, like maybe like that big. Um, it's very, very small, but it's cute. This one has the scary teddy on it. I thought this one looked pretty cool. Um, take it off of there. Here's the backer. Kind of hard to see this. Yeah, see, it's, and it's got, oh, he moves. Let's see if we can get him to move real quick. You don't move it. There he goes. Okay, so he moves. Well, that's cool. You can move him back and forth. I was gonna say I saw this little track, and he just moves along there. Huh. Pretty cool. You can put the backer on. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, it's very, very small, and it's a uh, cloison. I believe it's cloison material. Enamel. Enamel. That's probably more like it. It's pretty nice. Set him in the jewelry tray. And then I have another pin that I picked up. And this was just to meet, you know, the purchase requirement because I had um, all that hot cash. And I try to, you know, maximize on that. enamel pin. This one is similar to that uh, wall art I just showed you uh, with the stained glass look with Jack and Sally with the yellow moon back there on the hill. So this one I thought was really pretty too. Some jack-o'-lanterns down there. So yeah, some of these pins are really nice. They have lots of really nice Nightmare for Christmas pins. Um, but like I said, I really don't collect them. It's just, there's just too much out there for it. Oopsie. But I, I do have several pins, but yeah, not even close to how many they've made. Um, and there's some really rare ones out there with a lot of value to them, like from Disney auctions and stuff of these pins, of uh, pins, our Christmas pins. And uh, that would be really cool to have. There's really big ones, there's small ones, there's uh, blind bag ones, everything else. So, like I said, you could do just a collection of Nightmare of Christmas pins and you'd have a pretty, pretty big collection. This does not want to slide on there. What is going on? It came off, so why don't go back on? Yeah, that's just how it goes. Okay. Pretty nice pin. So there's those. All right. I also picked up this mug. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I saw it online. I usually don't, I don't, I have tons of mugs, so I try not to buy too many of them. If there's one that really catches my eye, I'll go ahead and buy it like this one did. This one is the dice. And now online, I want to see if it's true in the box, because on the box it's not showing it. Online they showed a little snake coming out. So I'm hoping he's there. That's why I bought it. I thought it was cute, because it had the little snake coming out of the dice. And I'm not seeing it in the picture, so... Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, he's on there. Not quite how I expected him to be, though. I thought he was going to be more fi figural. This one looks to be printed on. Um, but yeah, here's just a dice mug here. And here's the snake. And yeah, he's just uh, screen printed on there. I thought he was actually going to be, like I said, figural and sticking out. But he's just screen printed on. But otherwise, it's still a pretty cool mug. Oh, he even says, yeah, it's got a boogie. Here, let me see if you can see that. It's kind of dark. There we go. A bug inside there. It's a pretty good sized mug. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to drink out of this, though. I don't drink out of my mug, so it's not, not going to be an issue for me. But as far as a practical mug goes, that might be kind of hard to drink out of. So there's that. Alrighty, 
and then I picked this up. They actually had this out, I think, last year, and then they brought it out again. So I went ahead and bought this with my hot cash. I don't do like makeup accessory type stuff, so um, so I didn't buy it last year. But I do like the Deadly Nightshade jars. I think those are cool. The you know Warm Wart Deadly Nightshade and um, the other one that that they do. Frog's breath. That's the other one. Sorry, Something just came to me. Okay, so this one. Let's see what it was. This one was thirty-five dollars for this. Um, of course, I didn't pay that much. The mug. Let's see how much the mug was. I'll tell you that one. The mug was fifteen, which is about right for a nightmare mug. Um, they seem to be like fifteen to twenty dollars on average. So here is the deadly nightshade. I thought this was actually going to be a resin container or even maybe even ceramic. I was more leaning toward resin. It's actually neither of those. It feels to be like a rubbery material. Um, oh, it's Loungefly. Okay, it's made by Loungefly. And yeah, it's this, it's this rubbery, rubbery stuff. So that's pretty neat. And then here is the brushes. I guess this will come out of there. Yeah, it comes out. Okay. They're soft. I probably won't use these. I don't wear a lot of makeup anyway, but um, I probably won't use these. I'll just display them. Um, I don't want to ruin them. So yeah, you could definitely go ahead and use these if you, if you want it as a practical item. You can definitely, you know, obviously that's what it's made for. But as a collector, I'm just going to display it. But anyway, here's the lid. comes with the... And so let's see if we can put the lid on there. Yep, yeah, lid fits. There you go. So it's a pretty nice looking jar just by itself. I wish they wouldn't made it glittery though. I'm not I'm not a fan of the glitter stuff. I'm just not. It's messy. Um it's really not necessary. Sometimes it can look cool, like maybe on a Christmas ornament, but on something like this, I really can, I, I can do without the glitter. Um, but it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's still pretty cool. Let's see if this will fit on top like that. Yeah, that looks... Okay, I probably won't display it like that. It looks kind of stupid, but um, I just have to probably just lay the... like that or something. Um, might put a little piece of something right there to kind of keep it there. But anyway, yeah, so pretty cool. Let's go take that out of there. Yeah, you can't really use the lid with the items inside there. Okay, let's see what else do I have. I have this snow globe right there. And this, I think this might be a, no, it's not exclusive to Hot Topic. This was $50, um, so I probably paid about $25 or so for it. Yeah, I, I try not to pay full price from Hot Topic. There is, like, really no reason to pay full price, unless it's, like, a Hot Topic exclusive pop vinyl figure or something that may never go on sale. Uh, something like that I could see maybe paying full price for, but most of their stuff, most of their stuff, you can get for less than retail. I just love it. I lost styrofoam everywhere on this. I'm surprised it didn't come in a little bag. Usually they'll put like a little plastic bag around it and then put it in the box. But this didn't have a bag. I don't know if that's just the one I ended up with or if that's just how they're packaging these. I like when they put the bag on it because it keeps the styrofoam off. And it protects it from um, paint being this uh, leading off the item onto the styrofoam. Uh, so I do like it when, when they bag the item before they put it in the packaging. But that's okay. They didn't do that on this one. So let's go ahead and wind this up. Oh, this moves. Okay. And I'll say it said it uh, had motion. I was assuming these guys were going to be on a track and move, but... Uh, yeah, musical motion snow globe. So it's the inside that moves, which to me is kind of weird. Because <laughs> the hill wouldn't move. But um, I could see the characters like going around. 
Um, I have a snow globe like that where the characters are on a track and, and they move around, but they're doing the middle. Let's watch that again. So it does play This Is Halloween. We got Oogie Boogie, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, Mare, Santa Claus. So then they got some big tombstones back behind the hill here. All right, so there's the snow globe. And next I have are some ornaments. I got these from a Disney store. Online Disney store. Or a Shop Disney as they call it now. So these are sketchbook ornaments. Ooh, this one's nice. He's actually flocked. I did not expect that. His um, Santa suit is flocked. He's uh, behind this tombstone. His beard is pretty gray and his hat's pretty gray. I don't know why they went with more like a grayish tone versus, uh, you know, like, I can see why they don't do like a bright white, but I would have thought it had been a little whiter than, than what this is. But it's pretty nice though. Um, just makes it, it looks very high end. His coattails back here. This is a really nice ornament. It's resin. It's got some glittery snow. And this ornament retailed for $20. I think I got it like 25% off or so. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice ornament. To figure out I'm gonna get it off there without. Pretty nice. Okay, so there's the Jack one. And now for the Sally one. So here's Sally. She's really nice too. She's also behind a tombstone, different shape than the one Jack has. The same sparkly snow on the bottom. Yeah, this is nice. So Sally's pretty nice. Oh, look at her hair. Yeah, this is really nice. A lot of texture to it and color. Very nice. The only problem with, the, with these sketchbook ornaments is that they're a resin, so they are a little bit heavy. Alright, so the last thing I want to show you is... I also bought this from the Disney Store as well, online. And this is an ornament set here. So let me get this open for you. Let's open real quick. Ooh, this one's a really nice box. Oh, that was loud. A little loud coming out of there, but... Ooh, nice. This is nice. Okay, this is really nice. Um, this really nice purple box. And these uh, ball-shaped uh, ornaments in there. They're probably... Um, well, I guess it's plastic. And then it's got probably this resin uh, Santa Jack tree topper in here. So let me pull him out. 
I have another tree topper that's similar to this, but I had to buy it from the UK um, Disney store. I can't remember how I got it over here because you really typically cannot buy. Um, no, I must have bought it off eBay, but it was exclusive to the your, either the Europe or the Dis or um, Great Britain Disney store. So and there, they, that's happens. Sometimes they will get items that are not available here. And we get items that aren't available there. So that does happen. But this one is available on Shop Disney. For those in the U.S. So, And it's got this glittery um, top piece here. And then he's holding a glittery black star. I'm going to go grab my other one in just a minute and we'll compare the two. Now it came by itself as a tree topper. It did not come with ornaments like this one did. But yeah, glittery is... It's, it's everywhere. I'm not a big fan of glitter for that reason. It doesn't like to stay where it's supposed to be. So, um, let's see. Now this, you know, this has a glittery look to it, but it's... It's, it's like either painted on there or whatever. It's, it, it's, uh glossed over so where it does not come off. Okay, this is not going to come off on your hands. It's glitter on here. So, now if they do glitter like that, maybe I'd be uh, more interested, um, not as turned off by it. But, um, yeah, this kind of glitter just, it gets everywhere. So there's that. And here's Sally. She's got a black bow on hers. And they're double-sided. I think I have a set of these uh, ball ornaments that are double sided, but the picture on the back is different than the picture on the front. Um, I like it when the picture is the same on both sides because um, you can't see the back on the tree. And you'd have to either flip your ornaments every year or ever so often if you want to see the picture on the back. Um, so I, I prefer it this way. I don't like to hide nice details. This one just has a bunch of jack heads around it. There's the Night of Christmas on there. So yeah, they're pretty much just little plastic balls or nothing special. Um, nothing um, uh, detailed about it. It's just a, a picture. Oh, this one's got a snake around it. That's cool. Just picture printed on here. Still pretty nice little balls. Um, ornament or baubles or whatever you guys call these uh, Christmas ornaments. Christmas baubles. Here we go. Got lock, shock, and barrel in this one. Pretty cute. I'm more of a fan as far as the uh, Nightmare of Christmas ornaments go um, in figural ornaments that are more like like the these over here. That's that kind. And like from. Um, Hallmark, where it's an actual figure that, that you get versus a um, print on a ball-shaped ornament. But I still like the. I mean, these are still nice. And for uh, more may of an elegant type tree, this may be the more of it, like if you've got a white tree, and this may be more what you guys would be into. So, uh, just depends on what, what you're looking for and what style you want. Pretty nice. And so that's it on those. And I do have a set. Oh, wow. Let's see if we see the picture back here now that they're out of the box. There's this really nice print back there inside the box. Yeah, this box is really nice. Um, you really can't see that when you have all the ornaments in there. So it's kind of a detail that's lost, but um, really pretty though. And so I did pick up some. Now I, I kind of cheated on these and went to eBay. Um, and these are Blind Bag Series 5 Nightmare for Christmas clips. Um, so I did not do the blind bag thing. Uh, the thing is with the blind bags is that on Hot Topic. And I don't, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm not really near um, any big cities, uh, the nearest big city is like an hour away. So to get to my nearest hot topic, you're looking at an hour, actually over an hour drive uh, to get to one. And 
it's just not worth that for me to go all the way out there and then also online because I buy most of my stuff online for that reason they only let you buy five at a time for these like they have a limit of five and there's like 11 different styles so it's very very annoying I hate that, that they do that um, that they limit you to five and it's easier to get all the characters if you go out of the same box and I don't know where they're pulling them from online if I'm gonna get all the same ones or close to the, all the same ones and so it's just not worth that to me to buy a bunch of duplicates when it's probably in the cheaper just to go online on eBay and just buy the 11 you need. There's always 11 in these sets. So here's the first one and he's this cute little bunny, Easter bunny. It's very cute. And they've done a set of these for like every year for a while now. Like I said, this is series five and they started off as keychains and then they moved to clips. So it's lock, shock and barrel. And on this one, they actually combine them into one versus uh, they usually have them individual this one they're in one piece here which is kind of neat because they, they do 11 every year and that adds uh, room for other characters when they put these into one so here's them and then I really was going to quit doing the clips because they're actually kind of pricey um, they're like seven to eight dollars a piece and times 11 you know that's 88 dollars I didn't pay that much um, on, on eBay, but that's really what they would retail for. And so, um, I would just buy them off Hot Topic and get them 30% off, but they, like I said, they only limit you to five. So, um, just wasn't going to work out that for me that way. But anyway, this is a part of the reason why I went ahead and bought this set because I thought he was really cool. This Jack in the Box, um, clip. This is like the first time they've done this guy. So this is really cool. And the Easter Bunny is a new one too. I thought he was cute too. So this one's cool. And you can just like sit it there if you want. It stands on its own. So pretty nice. I like him. He's probably my favorite of this group. I don't know yet though. I haven't looked at the rest of them. So we'll see. Here's Jack holding his head. And here is Dr. Finkelstein holding a skull. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, this one's cute too. This zero has a um, candy cane in his mouth. I like that, that's cute. Kinda got his body wrapped underneath him there. I don't know what they're trying to do there. Cute though. There's the mayor, and he's got a pen, a feather pen in his hand, and a megaphone in his hand. These are really nice clips. They're really nice quality. Oogie boogie. I think this is another cool one. This is a, a Pumpkin King Jack, which I think they've done a Pumpkin King Jack before. Um, but the, this one is different than that one, and it's pretty cool. So, pretty neat. And then let's see, a couple Sally's here. These are pretty much the same. Oh, what's on her face? What's on her face? Get some ink smear, I think. Um, yeah, okay. So we got two Sally's pretty much identical, except for one, she's holding a, um, I dropped her. A black cat 
In this one, she's holding a jar of Deadly Nightshade. But everything else is the same. Looks to be. All right, guys, um, that's going to conclude this video. I know there's uh, quite a bit of different items there. I am going to go grab the other tree topper just real quick so we can uh, compare those. And then uh, that will conclude this video. All right, I grabbed him. So let's move this stuff out of the way here. So here he is. Now he's a little bit bigger as far as like, well, height wise, but um, that's pretty much it though. Uh, his hat goes kind of straight up and he's all glittery. Everything on here is glittery. The whole thing is versus just the couple pieces on this one. And so I do think Jack's face on this one looks better than this one. And overall, I think I do like this topper better than that one, even though it's very glittery. Um, it's very Christmassy, though. I mean, I don't hate glitter. I just don't like it getting everywhere. So um, his coattails are a little bit on the short side on this one as well. Much longer on that one. But anyway, they're both really nice tree toppers. And so there's those two. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe.